Gretchen from Willie Farms. I'm here to show you how to make a bow today. We make beautiful bows here at Willie Farms. We're, we're famous for hand tied bows. People come and have us make bows. In this segment today, we're going to show you how you can do it too. You can make a bow. We've got beautiful ribbons to choose from. Here at Willie Farms, we've got a lot of different sizes. There are number nines, which is a smaller bow. And then there are number 40s, which are a little over two inches wide. And oh my gosh, so many. We've got plain, we've got burlap, we've got fun, we've got classy, we've got every kind of ribbon that you would absolutely ever want to have. And um, over here, here are some samples of the bows that we make here at Willie Farms. This one here would be beautiful on a wreath on your front door. Here is that smaller size when I was telling you about the number nine size. You would make actually the very same style bow, but because you're using a smaller ribbon, you get a smaller bow. And now I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, if you're going to make yourself a bow, I want you to try starting out with a wire ribbon. More forgiving. Um, actually, your, your bow will even last longer out in the weather or from year to year if you have a wire bow. So that's a wire ribbon right there. A little different on each side. So that is going to tell us how what kind of a bow we're going to make today. So you've got your ribbon picked out. You're going to need some nice scissors. These are Amanda's. Don't tell her I'm using those. And you're going to want some florist wire. Because we make so many bows here at the market, uh, we get these lengths cut for us. Um, but you probably got florist wire at home on a spool. That's what you're going to use. All right. We are going to start. I'm going to try and keep the camera in the right direction for you to see this. So I'm going to kind of turn around myself. Uh, we're going to start with our tail. This is the right side of the ribbon. Because we have a right side and a wrong side, we are going to twist this ribbon every time we go between the fingers that are going to hold this bow together for us while we're making it. And we're going to do a twist like that. It's basically kind of like a fold over twist. It's not a all the way around. It's just getting to that other side. And we're not going to do a long twist. We're going to do a real tight, quick twist, almost like a cinched waist. Now I'm going to take this ribbon and I am going to go around my thumb. And that is my center knot of my bow. And you can see my thumb in there holding it. So basically I've made that center knot around my thumb. And because I'm going between my fingers, I'm going to twist it so I have the right side of the ribbon. And I'm going to go out about six or eight inches and then come back in to where my fingers are. And that's my first loop. And I'm going to do this loop on each side twice. All right, so I have two loops of a very similar size on each side. Basically, I am stacking up all my twists and then I'm just holding them in place with my fingers each time that I twist. Now, we are gonna make a little larger loop for the style that we're gonna make. And I am gonna go out about another inch, inch and a half, larger of a loop than these guys. So I'm going to have two on each side like this and now I'm going to have three like this on each side. So now we have our three loops on each side again pretty much kind of how we've been making them. I, you know, I do want to make mention of when I'm making these loops, I'm not pulling and, and making a crease at the end of my loops. I am keeping my hands inside that ribbon and that makes for a really nice rounded full edge on my bows. So now we're going to finish this off. Here at Willie Farms, we like four tails. So what I'm going to do to get that long two extra tails is I make a really long loop. Same way as I made these, but just really long. And then I twist that one last time. 
and I'm going to go back and cut that later on and I'll have two tails there. And then I'll have the tail I started with and then the tail we ended with. Now I am going to replace my hands because obviously I don't want to keep holding this bow like this when it goes on the wreath. So I'm going to replace my fingers. I'm going to go in the top where I first made that center knot and I'm going to put it under my thumb and then I'm going to come around on both sides of all those twists that I've been holding and then I'm going to pull and kind of cinch that wire real tight and then I'm going to twist it. One, two, three, hey let's do four for good measure. As long as I've done everything right this isn't going to come apart and of course I've been doing this for 30 years so it's not going to come apart. <laughs> um, okay there is our bow so far. Now, I'm going to show you how to fluff it. I've just been pretty much stacking up my loops. I've got my three on each side that are longer, my two on each side that are shorter, and then my center. I'm going to take this back stack of three, the very bottom loop, I'm going to pull up to the top. The middle of that three is going to stay there, and the top of that set of three is going to go to the bottom of my bow. I'm calling the bottom of my bow where the tails are. I have these two here. I'm going to do it the same way. The bottom of this stack is going to go to the top. And the top of that stack is going to go to the bottom. Looking like a bow. Other side. I'm going to kind of do the opposite. I've still got my three and my two. On this side, I'm going to do the opposite I did on the other side, which is that top loop is going to go to the top. On the other side, my top went to the bottom, and now those two are across from each other. Uh, if I needed to adjust in any way, one of my loops was a little bigger or a little smaller, I would know just pull that, and I would be able to pull in some of that length right there and fix my bow a little bit. Now I have my three, and the top of that is going to go to the top, the center is going to stay there, and the bottom is going to go to the bottom. If you wanted, you could put this bow on the table to fix it if you didn't want to hold it in your hands. You could pin it to your tabletop and just put your hands in the bottom of it and move all your loops around if that's easier for you. And now I have that really long tail. I am going to cut it and I'm just going to do a really simple edge on this. I'm just going to make an edge like that, but you can do a lot of different edge treatments on your bow. And right here are some samples. We've got a point, we've got a point, going the opposite way, we're just flat. I'm going to cut the other part of my ribbon off that's still attached to my roll. Tied bow and it's beautiful. Oops, turn my tails around. There you go. This size would be great to put on your wreath, top of a tree. Great big package because you were such a good person this year and it's gorgeous. Now, next time, we're going to teach you how to make another bow. And you can do it too, and it's going to be this sweet little poinsettia that even the kids can help you make.